Hey guys, I uh, hope you're having a nice July the 19th so far. If you are in fact watching this on the 19th of July, it's hard to believe that we are almost two thirds of the way through the month of July, but here we are. I don't know how, how time is going for you, but at, at our house it's going by super quick. Super quick, and of course we're in, as a province, we're in phase three, which means uh, increased uh, freedoms or ability to do, do certain things. Uh, indoor social gatherings, the number has increased to 50. Uh, outdoor social gatherings, I think it's at 100. Um, but it's looking like we will be able to gather again at the Adult Recreation Center in August. Uh, however, it's gonna look quite different. The gatherings are going to look quite different. And one of the big things for a lot of people is that we won't be able to offer any kind of separate children's program or, or childcare program. And that follows the uh, specific public health advice that's been offered to churches and places of worship. And it follows the kind of uh, the general practices that are expected uh, for childcare settings. It's just not feasible for us to have something like that. And I know it's unfortunate for lots of us, um, but that is the reality for the short term. Uh, there's a lot of other ways that it's, it's going to look different. And in just going through the list and, and looking at the recommendations, none of these are fun. You know, none of these are going to make our experience better. Uh, they're really, all the measures that are in place are measures really to limit connection. Uh, they're to take away, and when we take away connection, I think something is detracted from our sense of community and so on. And so what that means is I think we're going to have to invest in connection and in community in other ways. Uh, fortunately, we're still in the nice weather and, and the limits and restrictions don't apply in all the same ways for outdoor gatherings. Um, and so uh, we'll see what we can do about that. One of the things that we're going to do at our house are we're in August, uh, we're going to start opening our backyard weekly on Thursday evenings. Uh, just to have folks over to be able to connect and socialize uh, because we will not be getting that time at least inside on a Sunday morning after uh, the service is concluded. Uh, and so I'd encourage you guys, especially if you have backyards, to continue to like just have people over to hang out, connect, socialize. Uh, you can have prayer gatherings or just social gatherings, but to really um, invest in and practice community it requires that we get together and that we commune with one another. So again, I'm not going to go through all the differences that uh, will be applied on Sunday mornings. We can talk more about those things as we get closer to regathering at the Adult Recreation Center. Um, but just know that it will look different. And in the midst of that, we want to like we want to do our best to kind of overcome these hindrances or barriers. To connection and uh, and practicing the kind of one and others of the church. Uh, so, more coming on that. Uh, I'll be sure to, as we uh, have uh, things nailed down in terms of dates and, and systems and so on. I'll be sure to send that out, not just in video format, but in text, so that you guys are all in the know. And other than that, I hope you guys are doing well. We're almost through our series on 2 Samuel, uh, First and 2 Samuel, and after that we will begin a brand new series. Uh, I don't think I'll pick one that'll be quite as long, but anyways. Okay, that's it. That's it for me. We're going to enjoy the outdoors today at my house, uh, provided it doesn't thunder shower. I hope you guys can enjoy your day today. Uh, if anyone needs to reach out or connect, give me a call, text, or email. That's it. Bless you guys.